A flawless dunk contest from Mac McClung. Just saw him own the moment in Salt Lake City, as I'm grateful to have predicted beforehand in this video right here. But in terms of how the combination of flair and consistency, meaning how McClung made all four of his incredibly difficult dunk attempts, that's what made it one of the greatest performances in the history of All-Star Saturday. As he was going up for these dunks, I was nervous for his safety and potential success on these potential brick jams or tumultuous landings, but how McClung just kept hanging in the air to make it look easy was insane to watch, resulting in a showing that'll go down as one of the top dunk contests ever, right next to the performances of the likes of Michael Jordan, Dominique Wilkins, Vince Carter, Zach Levine, and Aaron Gordon. How McClung embraced every bit of pressure in front of the bright lights, found his focus, and displayed his God-given brilliance may have legitimately been the all-time greatest dunk contest showing ever. Is that actually the case though? How'd the first G League player ever to grace the competition send a message in the process? Why is the humble Mac perfectly suited for the NBA? And how'd the first non-NBA player ever to be in the contest quite simply send a message to the association? Right quick, just 19% of you watching are subs, so please subscribe, also turn on notifications, splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, learn more about this channel, and stay even more up to date by following at Hoops on Instagram and Twitter. But are you serious, Mac McClung? After what we talked about a couple days ago, of course from my words and mantra, you could maybe see for yourself that I expected something special, but the insanity that ensued on Saturday night is something that still shocked me. To be fair, I did say my guy Mac would dominate the competition and own the moment, go fact check me on that, but I didn't think McClung could execute his jams so efficiently like he did. All four of the dunks that he pulled off were really dunks that we've never seen in the competition before. One of those dunks was an acrobatic mid-air masterclass cultivating in a 540 on the baseline, which looked silky smooth. Another was a double reverse pump jam where he, without pushing off them in the slightest bit, clears a man on the spring up. On that double pump, it was insane how Mac just McClung in the air seemingly forever to make it look easy. He's also going to cleanly clear two defenders without in Nate Robinson fashion using them as leverage, as here he leaps directly over nine feet of two defenders on top of one another before having enough hang time to kiss the backboard with the ball and finish with the reverse. Nasty stuff. Before getting to the message Mac sent to the association, then looking at film on his G League production this year, where, as I mentioned last time, he's gotten less playing time in comparison to his ROI campaign, yet is still putting up practically the same numbers and better efficiency in his sophomore G League campaign. First, let's step back to further appreciate the dunker that the disrespected McClung is for his mere 6 foot 2, 184 pound frame. For this kid to step up to the moment with such little experience was simply mesmerizing to watch play out. To be specific, McClung's two NBA games played are the fewest by any player to win a dunk contest. Many question Mac's lack of defense though, which is why failed pro scouts haven't given him a chance. That, and they're likely intimidated by his persona which consists of having a flair for the dramatic. But if anyone did their homework properly, they'd come to the quick and jaw-dropping realization that as a rookie, being in a more trusted system in South Bay, as opposed to the less minute situation he's going through in Delaware, among G League guards who've suited up for at least 25 games, Mac's defensive rating was good enough for 5th best. I have a separate video entirely put together even before Mac was named to the contest early in February that I haven't put out yet. It focuses entirely on why the Warriors replacing him before the season was a nightmarish decision. I know I talked a little bit about that a couple days ago with my dunk contest prediction, but if you want to see a heavier breakdown on the Warriors inadvertently letting go of the man who just became the man of the hour on Saturday night, make it splash on the sub box. But let's go down to what they in my day used to call it the D-League, now it's known as the G. Nevertheless, the best pro organization in North America outside of the NBA has seen Mac tear through the comp like he did to force Kenny the Jet to say, it's over, ladies and gentlemen. You saw my response when it comes to the critiques about this kid's defense. People also question his ability to play off the ball though offensively. And while G League stats don't track spot up attempts, I tried to look for them endlessly. He has made 50% of his 78 threes overall on the year. 
This play sees him get a spot up though, as out of an unpredictable cross-court DHO, he's gonna easily catch and let it fly with the defender right in his grill. Next, he's gonna fill out the lane on the right side, perfectly in transition for catching it and finishing downhill. On the other end, he's not merely gonna funnel the driver into the backside help, but stay with the penetrator himself, leverage off his back foot, and force the steal. Again, not demanding the ball right away, but filling out the lane. This time on the left side, he turns that defensive knockaway into a two-way sequence by spotting up in the corner, then calling for it before catching a floater pass, then Euro stepping for the bucket. This 25-point Delaware debut masterclass also of course saw Mack show off his bread and butter, his decisive fluidity when creating off the bounce. Semi-transition right here sees him momentum cross away from the screen, pull off the in and out Hezzy, and float it over the top of two defenders in the vicinity. Same move, just again working his way into the lane like a pro, getting the defender on his hip, therefore getting the proper space and leverage to float it home right here. We know he's a very capable off the dribble creator though, and you don't want him ball stopping too much. Back to his underrated value without the rock. Nothing's happening with six on the shot clock, but McClung stays ready when spaced out on the right wing. This off ball jab step gets Jalen Crutcher shuffling to the corner. Solid over the shoulder bullet from teammate Louis King. But that initial elusive relocation from Mac was what created the space for that catch and shoot. Off a baseline out of bounds leading to a weak side handoff action with the product of Arkansas's Justin Smith. Based off this move, I want you to give me a reason in the comments section as to why McClung's not getting the benefit of big body screen setters with a spot in the NBA. Mac displays slight track runner starting point-esque footwork, if you will, on the catch before up faking right here to get Tyshawn Alexander leaning. Using the Smith pick for a second time within one drive while pulling off another Hezzy before crossing into the lane on the short drive and sky hooking it like mini Kareem for the tough finish. Next, he skirt stops into a DHO where he's acting as the rolling initiator. Funky playset, but he shows off his floor spacing yet again even when calling for it as the main go-to attacker, as you can see, the floor is still beautifully spaced out after another bit of swift off-ball movement from Mack. Watch the gravity he draws from Alexander, who desperately closes out on the three as Mack catches it. Mack's just gonna patiently save his dribble following the catch, pull off a nasty triple threat move to break some ankles, receive the on-ball from Michael Foster, before again Euro stepping in the lane and finishing amidst heavy traffic, Stephen Curry showed his respect for McClung after his revival of the dunk contest. Steph would tweet out, quote, Man was a viral House of Highlights high school dunk phenom, still working his way to the league, but let me go get that dunk contest trophy right quick and bring it back to life. Unreal. Hashtag Mac McClung. Mac would respond to that by saying, Appreciate you, GOAT. The dream is the journey. You love to see it. Yesterday, I tweeted out, quote, end the stigma. Just because a player looks like Giannis, it doesn't mean they'll turn out to be that once-in-a-lifetime type talent. A seven-foot wingspan is only useful with capable basketball abilities and natural God-given gifts for basketball. Mac McClung is the perfect example. As I'll state for yet another time, this athletic phenomenon has been disrespected for way too long. Mac is the real deal, as he just displayed, and he's coming for the kill. But out of all the four, which Mac dunk from Saturday night was your favorite and why? Two commenter shoutouts next time for my last upload and this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.